My name is Nikki Goser, and um, I actually used to be a staffer here many years ago, and uh, worked for Representative Halford. Very, very good man. Um, Mom's demand action uh, does not speak for me. I, um, I was a victim of a violent crime. My husband, Ben, was brutally murdered in front of me by a man who was stalking me. I was denied the ability to carry my legal firearm to protect us that night because of the gun-free zone con gun control policies uh, that Mom's Demand supports. Ben died, as did my dreams of ever being a mother. The man who murdered my husband could have been involuntarily committed under existing Tennessee state law. His family and friends could have used this law and he would have gotten due process in court with mental health experts involved. Simply taking away guns is not a serious response. Mentally ill people who are dangerous need to be institutionalized and get treatment. The focus here should be on mental health, mental health resources, as well as holding criminals accountable. According to a recent poll of Tennessee voters, the overwhelming majority do not support red flag laws, also known as extreme risk protection orders. 84% indicated they would choose to have the person removed instead of the firearm. I do not support extreme risk protection orders. And let me tell you why. You know, after I lost my husband, in such a brutal, horrific attack. Of course I was depressed. Who wouldn't be? Of course I couldn't sleep. Who could? I was having horrible nightmares. You know, someone like a victim of a violent crime like myself could be impacted by red flag laws. You know, somebody is just simply concerned. I was never, you know, suicidal. I was never a danger to myself or others. I was dealing with natural human emotions after something that awful. You know, all it takes is someone with red flag laws to go and say, you know what, we're concerned. She's depressed and she own, owns guns. And then my basic human right of self-defense is stripped away from me without due process. And I cannot support that. You know, some of the most vulnerable people in society will not be able to protect themselves under extreme risk protection orders. I believe in due process. I believe that it is extremely important. Do I want dangerous people to have guns? Absolutely not. But I also support the Constitution and due process. And I applaud legislators that are opposing these dangerous policies like red flag laws. Thank you.